Welcome to the Uptime Wind Energy Podcast. I'm your host, Alan Hall, along with my co-host, Joel Saxon. Uh, the wind energy sector is booming, and the Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts wind turbine service technicians will be the fastest growing job this decade. But with great growth comes a need for skilled workers, and training enough qualified technicians is vital to keep wind farm projects up and running. Pierce Renewables has been a leader in technician training, and they recently opened a new training facility in Dallas, Texas. And if you're not familiar with Pierce Renewables, and boy, you're missing out, they are the largest ISP in the U.S., and they have a great need for well-trained technicians. Our guests are John Hornbeck, Manager of Learning Organizational Development, and Travis Dees, Senior Vice President of Operational Support. John and Travis, welcome to the show. Thank you, Al. Happy to be here. So Joel and I visited your brand new fancy training facility in Dallas, Texas. Man, is that thing impressive. Yeah, we were there while you guys were still building things, right? You had people climbing around, you're installing TVs and stuff. And at that time, it was impressive. We walked in, we're like, wow, look at this place. Uh, look at the, the size of it. The, 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 I think that, to be honest with you, the layout of the training rooms and everything, I mean, there's a lot of things going on there. You've got capabilities to run people through a lot of different training mechanisms as well. Yeah, when we started the, the design and the facility, it was trying to build for the future not for what our needs were today, right? As, as you said before, we're, we're growing very quickly and the need for technicians uh, is definitely upon all of us, but us specifically and making sure they're trained and equipped properly before they go out in the field is, is our goal. We're trying to build a facility, you know, not just in Texas, but other places as well. And starting in Texas and growing our California facility where the technicians actually want to come. You know, they come there to get their training, but we want them to want to come back, you know, like, I want them to go to the field, get some hours under their belt and be like, hey, when do I get to go back to Dallas and hang out at that place? You know, that place was cool. The trainers are great. They're really informative. You know, we're trying to set out, you know, for an awesome vibe. You know, we want it to be something that our people are proud of. Therefore, they take that with them in the field and, and they, it kind of rubs off on our other technicians and, it, you know, it's building our culture. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's the, we have one opportunity to shine for our employees. And this was our opportunity, so we took it. And working with, you know, INSA and some other companies to get all the equipment inside of the facility was amazing. They, they designed an awesome uh, jungle gym, when I call it. Man, that thing is awesome. Uh, and and uh, John and, and the, the work that he did getting our wind turbine and everything put together and the time frame and the layout works. The flow is really cool. Uh, I think it really helps the technicians, you know, keep and retain all the information that we're, we're feeding them versus them losing it, you know? And, and uh, what you guys didn't see is we, we have a section in there now where all the technicians that come through can autograph a wall, uh, which has been fun because some people like to draw some pictures and box letter their names and there's some really cool signatures. And, and at the same time, it, we wanted our trainers, uh, you know, to have a, a place they wanted to train in, you know? Don't get me wrong, it's Dallas, it's hot. Like it was hot in there yesterday and those guys were all over that tower. But uh, you know, we put some big fans in there, it'll cool it down. And, and you know, I keep saying, hey, we, it can't be air conditioned because then they're gonna get, uh, they won't be working in their elements. You know, the wind turbines, they're out in all of the elements. So when it's cold, it should be a little chilly. And when it's hot, it should be warm. You don't wanna spoil them. No, absolutely not. They, I think they're already spoiled as it is, but uh, you know, <clears throat> But no, I think the team and, and John specifically and his team have done a great job with making sure that we had the right equipment, you know, to give our technicians and, you know, even some of our clients, their, their people, the best training we can possibly offer up. And we'll continue to grow and improve. I think there's always opportunity for improvement, but we're really excited about the Dallas facility. Everyone that comes in there, you know, we bring a bunch of clients in and everyone's just wow that that jungle gym is it, it is a wow factor so alan and i came to the facility back in april and you and john welcomed us in and and john was giving us kind of a tour of basically the you have a bunch of classrooms of course there's some you know of course you have a, then it's a little bit of a pierce facility right so you're going to have some meetings or something you've got really nice conference rooms and stuff in there but training rooms that were air conditioned and nice uh for certain things but then when we walked out into the the big facility, right? The big warehouse type facility. The first thing I saw in the corner was a legitimate nacelle. 
like sitting there ready to like, and John was, hey, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. We'll take a peek at that thing. Let me show you some other stuff. And also there's a freaking nacelle in here. Like that's amazing, right? We've been to a lot of places, uh, training facilities and such. And you don't see that very often for one, right? They're tough to get a hold of. Nobody wants to, that's, that's expensive. It's a, it's a piece of kit, right? They could be used in, in something else. So people don't really want to get it, get you, get rid of it. But I mean, the guys are really going to have the capabilities of doing some hands-on training. Uh, uh, John, you want to walk us through some of the other things that are out in that warehouse? We're training our employees to be the best they can so that our ISP can keep growing. But the, the way when we first um, landed the building, even when it came to the jungle gym, you know, we contracted, worked with Ensa to sell some materials. But they they were open as a company, and they said, "Hey, here's here's what some other designs look like." I visited a couple of facilities. I looked at some of other um, training centers' designs. So the team and the trainers and I, we sat down and we drew up. Uh, hey, what what makes ours different? And we came up with a big U shape, and that was a little bit too big for what we needed at the time, which was fine. So we we cut it down. But just the way that we put thought into it of, hey, here's all the ladders going up underneath the deck that that simulate coming up into a wind turbine and main shaft and and how we shaped the advanced rescue training section and put things on the second level made it different than everybody else's and it made it cooler and it, and it looks amazing, you know, and, and then with, with you pointing out the wind turbine, that was the other thing. You know, not everybody has a fully, you know, can be powered up. We're in the middle of powering it up right now, getting a wire to, to put power to it at, at a low voltage so that we can do training and and, uh, and teach everybody how to work on it without actual high voltage in front of the cabinets. But there's only uh, a couple of facilities out there that will have that ability to train on a live wind turbine inside of a shop. You know, not just um, the wind turbine that's in there that sets us apart as we're going to be able to do live power up training on that itself. We have the same thing um, for the solar and the battery storage and the and the EV divisions. We we have um, partnered with some folks that have given us battery storage cabinets and inverters that and helping us um, power those up so that we can do live training. Um, not only for customers, but to highlight uh, that to potential clients and things that um, of the partners that we work with. So at Pierce Renewables, when you, when you train somebody up, they're training on real live active equipment. It's not a simulation. It's just not a box on a bench. You're actually using real equipment, especially like battery storage, which is really interesting too. Uh, because there's not a lot of training facilities doing that at the moment. That is, an, is a unique piece, I think, because the, the, the worst time for a technician is those first week or two or six months where they're, everything is just new. You're trying to, to de-risk that in a sense, right? By giving them access to real working equipment. It, exactly. And, you know, that's why when I said that earlier, you know, we wanted to do the things that set us apart from just your... I'll call it the cookie cutter trainings. You know, there's plenty of great training facilities out there and there's, they all do a great job, but there's, there's a cookie cutter method there. You come in, do the standard training and go out to the field. We wanted to change that and add that additional, you know, real live training for our technicians so that, you know, they leave not only knowing how to work safer, but they're actually getting out there and working smarter right out the gate. So then our customers benefit from that because we're delivering employees that have been trained on most of the things that they would end up doing in the field for their first few weeks. Now, there's still is field training and very specific, you know, um, equipment training that that not, a, not anybody can offer because you might need 15 or 20 different kinds of, you know, cabinets in your shop to train on. But when we offer up that live aspect of training, it's just that, that one more step, you know, towards, uh, getting your, getting your cut, um, your technicians out there and just having them hit the ground and 
work safe and do a great job. Yeah, and you mentioned the components, but you also t- uh, touched on like a d- grease nipple. Another thing you showed us, John, was the slew of tools from all kinds of different manufacturers you guys have there, right? So it's they're not going to be it's not going to be the first time they pick up you know a torque tool or something like that. They've handled it. They know the ins and outs of it. They've probably already used it, let alone handled it, right? But they've used it on those those test facilities that you have. So, and I know that you were saying, hey, I've got this. We've got this set up, but I've got these tools coming in and these tools coming in and those tools coming in. So you, I know you had a lot on the, on the plate there as well. We talk a lot about electrical, but yeah, one of the other things that set this apart too, is you saw all those bolting scans. We built those out of bearings and flanges that are completely simulated to, you know, putting up towers and bolting on hub bearings and putting blades together. But not only that, it was exactly exactly the same as getting that live training we can go into the turbine and we do this um we're working on the gwo bolting standard which is new, which is pretty new to the industry going across um, all the training centers we can we go into the wind turbine put the hydraulic or electric you know large powered torque tools on the actual main shaft in the pillow block and pedestal blocks and so those are common things that the um, technicians are going to have to check in the field. So they literally going to walk in there, go into the turbine, put the tools on on these actual bolts, and you know get a feel for hey, I got to watch where I'm stepping, you know, and I've got to carry this tool and you know get things in place and not leave my cords out where I'm going to trip. So we're 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 really proud of the you know the uh, bolting and torque class that that we're able to teach there. And I think one of the issues for new people to enter the, into the industry to become wind turbine technicians is I, I think there's a thought, at least I've talked to people who have done this, they thought that they needed to have a lot of mechanical experience be, before they applied. Like they needed to be a NASCAR mechanic or they needed to be working for a utility before they decided to apply. Like they, they thought they had to bring all this expertise to the job. That's really not true because of all the work companies like Pierce is doing right now, right? You guys are training up people that have general basic mechanical skills to then go off and service wind turbines. And I think they miss that point. Like this is a little bit different than showing up at an auto mechanics place, right? You're going to get trained up in wind. You're going to get trained up in solar. You're going to get trained up in, in in battery storage before you go out to the field. And that just, I think if a lot of new people to the industry knew that, they would be much more likely to apply because we're like, we need like roughly 100,000 more technicians over the next couple of years. That's a crazy number. Now, anybody that has a mechanical, electrical, uh, or just the want to have a career, Call us up, man. Call us. We'll, we'll help you get there. We, we will get you the training you need to be safe out in the field, and you're really going to gain the knowledge with time in the field working with individuals that have that experience. But we'll make sure before you get out there, on your first day, you're not going to just run away. You're going to be safe. You're going to know what you're looking at. You're not going to be afraid to get dirty. You know, you're know, you going to have that knowledge with you. So that's really our goal. I would say to say, well, you can go – People right out of high school, they might have only worked on their bikes when they were young, but we're we're going to provide what they need to go work in the field. So they don't necessarily need to have any, you know, background. You could be, you know, fresh and looking to go into a different industry because you were an IT person. Well, they're pretty they're pretty valuable <laughs> nowadays, but it doesn't matter. We give the training that it, that people need to join our industry right so you have this fantastic training facility that can do solar battery storage wind all the above we know that there's some of these industries like wind that have this shoulder season right where you're busy spring summer early fall and then winter comes and you're nah, you might not have that much to do so if you have the capability of training your in-house technicians to be able to take on extra tasks in their downtime that's a wicked strategic advantage as an isp yeah, so that's one of the things that we focused on and we're, we're talking about now is how do we 
we've done it in the past when we were a smaller company, you know, is you could take a, a wind technician and go put him in the field helping solar, but you can't take a solar tech and put them in a wind turbine because they got to have the ability to climb safely and understand right. all the safety equipment. And now with the GWO standard, it takes us time to get them trained up, but we're looking at abilities to where the technicians that want to transition between uh, wind and solar is to give them that opportunity and bring them in for the additional trainings. We're also a telecom company. So we are, we're, we're working with those guys as well. And we like, there's not just wind towers, there's also telecom towers. EV as well. That's another sector we're big in. You know, we're a lot, very, if not the largest uh, EV service provider in the market today. And we're we are actually working diligently with uh, another client of ours. And we're going to be installing several EV uh, charging stations outside the facility that will actually, the public will be able to use. But our technicians that come in to get trained, they're going to go out there and get hands-on actual operating EV stations. So we, we do offer and, and continue to push and to grow the ability to cross train all of our individuals. Yeah. So guys, we've, um, you know, we've talked with a lot of training centers. We talk with a lot of people that are involved in the veterans communities, um, on the, in wind or outside of wind. Um, but what we hear from them is, man, when we get vets in, they're fantastic. They're ready to work. They're used to tough conditions. They're used to traveling. Um, and most of them come with some technical aptitude straight out of whatever branch they were in. Uh, so they end up being rock stars on these renewable energy crews out in the field, whether it's solar, storage, wind, it doesn't really matter. How are you guys engaging with that community to, to kind of help boost up peers? We have a recruiter. His name is Frank Martinez. He's an actual veteran himself. His one job as a recruiter is fully to go find veterans that are either already retired or getting ready to retire and getting them into Pierce. Like we are dedicated to working with the military. Frank's an outstanding recruiter. You know, it, it's awesome. And, and I believe to what everybody else is saying, I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon, man. These guys coming out of the military, they, they understand what it is to be organized. They understand the importance of being part of a team showing up on time and delivering like if they're amazing and we do at Pierce we, we have dedicated an individual his only job is to is really to recruit vets we're part of all types of other organizations uh that that are specialized in in recruiting veterans straight out of the military or even those that have been retired that are finally like oh all right, I gotta go find something to do now, you know? So we're, we're pinpointing it, we're finding it. And, and our COO was given a, an award this year from the, the veterans for our continued participation in recruiting vets. So that was a pretty cool moment for, uh, for our new COO this year. Well, Travis, if I'm new to the wind industry or an experienced technician, how do I connect with Pierce Renewables to get enrolled in some of these things and get, up, get out in the field? Yeah, I think the easiest way to find us is on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, like we're everywhere. Obviously, our website at peersredoables.com or peerservices.com, either one of them will take you to the own page. So Travis and John, thank you so much for being on the program. The Pierce Renewables training facility is amazing, and we will definitely have to come back out and visit it again. 